Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. Uh, those two red plastic cases from the 80s um, is what I have here today. The first one, the little one, uh, is something that we have been uh, repairing and presenting uh, some time ago. But the second one, the big uh, red box, is uh, what we're going to be looking at today first one holds my Z88 recently repaired we did this together for those who remember um, so we're not gonna deal with this uh, I just found the, the, the plastic case similar to the big one and I thought it's um, a great chance to present how the cases for computers home computers back in the 80s uh, used to be and so we have uh, the famous Alice Alice is a French machine based around uh, well similar to um, ZX81 based around the Motorola 6803 uh, comes in a complete uh, pack, uh, package with a SCART cable um, uh, some software I think there is an introductory tape right there uh, cables for the recorder the tape uh, the original power supply and of course uh, the uh, uh, cassette player which is interesting the power jack is a standard um, 9 or 10 volts or whatever yeah it's the standard uh, jack like the ZX Spectrum or, or similar um, machines from that era and we can see the the DIN uh, socket which uh, gives us the um, TV out and uh, we are happy that we have a SCART cable here is the reset button the serial uh, interface for DIN socket and the cassette uh, I guess it's 5 DIN uh, standard uh, plug for this uh, this uh, machine um, has a pretty decent keyboard, uh, clicky uh, one uh, with uh, the, uh, the the sequence of the letter. The format is SRT instead of QRT. Um, it comes with uh, complete with uh, some books here. We can see the label of the machine is stuck right there. Wow, that's interesting, and it's. Uh, the serial number uh, 18,000 something yeah because it's not at the back so the previous owner uh, stuck the uh, sticker onto the uh, the plastic case um, because it, it was somehow removed from the back of the machine so back to the manual we can see here uh, in French chapter 1 uh, how to write programs and I think I'm I'm not very good in French but I can tell there is something um, some introduction to basic uh, instructions for the assembler editor or whatever uh, the second book and we have what we have here we have uh, yeah some list of programs and the use of the recorder and how to uh, correct the azimuth or how the actually how the, the tape works uh, and some other stuff we have also um, the instructions uh, of the machine um, yeah and we have also um, a map of the graphics um, the characters um, graphics uh, listing and here is the error messages list wow that's pretty useful so we can see some uh, messages and then we can tell uh, which error is hidden behind these messages very interesting very useful very nice and there was a listing here uh, for uh, yeah, for you to type in, and there is a multiplications cassette. So this is part of the some software 
Well, we can check this later. And here is the guarantee card. You can see, yeah, and uh, you have to send it back to be valid and all that, the usual stuff. Um, so this is a complete box. I'm very happy, very pleased with this um, purchase. And here is the introductory tape. This is a, a must. This is a must. I like to have the introductory tape inside any package if uh, um, a computer is boxed or anything. So yeah, then it can be considered as a, a complete um, package. And then we have what we have here. It looks like uh, yeah, the Golden Sphinx. If my French are poor. French art, right? So it's a game. Um, let me see if every yeah, the original tape is inside. And what else we have? Uh, you, this is what we've been looking uh, before: the multiplications cassette. I guess it's educational software for Alice 32. Uh, some multiplications or maths for kids. Yeah, so it's good. And this is. Uh, what it is another uh, educational software for uh, geography um, and the cassette inside yeah French geography so nice nice and complete uh, let's uh, move along with Alice and plug it in and play a bit with it and uh, as I always do I have to check uh, polarity and uh, voltage uh, from the uh, original power supply because I do not trust it after 40 years um, and let's see if we have power I'm guessing the core middle is positive outside part negative uh, but we can see no indication over the multimeter so I'm not going to risk it at all and I'm going to use uh, one of the classic um, Sinclair uh, ZX Spectrum power supplies because this one uh, is a 10 volt 1.3 amp and Spectrum is 9 1.5 so now <coughs> I have uh, plugged in the uh, TV cable uh, here is a reset button um, I placed it over the TV uh, using this card and this is the classic um, jack um, from the ZX Spectrum this is the uh, Matra uh, logo right there you can see the other T uh, format of the keyboard and although it looks uh, similar to um, the ZX81 uh, believe me the feeling is uh, great um, it's not touch of course uh, it must have some kind of uh, not springs but something uh, like metallic uh, contacts underneath uh, which feels great and this is the moment of truth after 38 years I'm going to power up the machine and wait and see and yes 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 we have a signal um, the Microsoft Basic uh, is there 1982 by Microsoft you can see I'm trying some keystrokes um, so far so good uh, so enter key uh, will give us a sig uh, syntax error of course uh, let's play a bit more and check the the classic silly program uh, checking the keys and the processor um, and the basic capabilities uh, it's will this this little loop um, this machine is the successor to MC10 uh, back in the day which was uh, a try uh, from French industry to get into the home micros um, markets. Um, the successor was Alice 90. 
after uh, this one, which is uh, this particular one is Alice 32, which also comes with um, 16k of RAM. Uh, Alice 90, uh, used to have a better keyboard, a proper keyboard, and 32k kilobytes of RAM. Let me press the reset and see what happens. And it goes back to uh, the cursor and OK. Um, yeah, so it looks like we have a system here which is in very, very good condition. And I'm very happy with that. Um, it works now using the standard uh, 9 volts. Uh, 1.5 amps uh, Sinclair power supply uh, with no problems whatsoever. Um, uh, what else can we say? Uh, let's take uh, to the basic functions and the basic characteristics. So, uh, along with the Motorola 6803, uh, we have also a coprocessor, the MC68. 47 video generator for video um, which gives us a text mode of 32 by 16 uh, in a graphic mode that means 64 by 32 in uh, the use of nine colors and one channel of sound um, the IO ports uh, you can see there is an expansion port right here uh, with 18 pins, you can plug in memory expansion or something. I can zoom. Uh, I don't. I don't have anything to plug in right now. And we went through the classic uh, DINs, uh, the serial. The, here is the on-off switch on the side. Um, the um, uh, cassette DIN, also uh, basic functionalities. Uh, and although the, this whole case and this uh, whole machine looks like a toy, it works very well. The Chiclet keyboard um, is similar to the File 60 um, uh, aftermarket keyboard that you could place uh, over the uh, ZX81 back in the day, but uh, it works much better. The reset button is useful, the on off switch is useful, none of those existed, for example. Um, on the uh, ZX81. Uh, here is the clear screen um, uh, instruction and it works like a charm. Uh, what can I say? I like Alice so far. And uh, this is totally 80s. Um, what I like about these machines um, was the, um, the way they were packed and uh, delivered. Like this manual you can see here uh, immediately how to use it and uh, connect it to your TV. The SCART cable comes as a standard. Uh, pretty explanatory um, for the basic interpreter for the assembly language. Uh, complete uh, card uh, and uh, purchase uh, um, guarantee. You can see it came right from Paris. A bunch of papers, um, everything that you need to begin. Um, plug it in and play right away. What is in side A, side B of the tape for this particular uh, software? Uh, you have to, the old uh, fashioned way, you have to chop off the bottom of the paper and send it back to the um, uh, distributor so you can uh, use the guarantee um, ed educational software like list this little listing this is the the way we did it back in the day line by line you had to type it in and see what happens uh, doing calculations uh, equations uh, start looking at uh, games of course but also other useful stuff um, preparing uh, your own programs um, after a few tries but of course the big hit was the um, the games market again 
a full introductory tape uh, for the machine to, to show you uh, how you can start using it immediately everything in the same package you can plug it in and play with your kids and family uh, this is how it used to be and um, I like it very much brings back memories of course I didn't have an Alice when I was a kid and I had my spectrum but um, it, 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 it was around the same idea um, you have to put in your introductory tape start uh, to understand how this machine works and how you're going to be using it a uh, bun uh, bunch of um, games were out in the markets and that's it now Alice is uh, back in the case in its uh, original case manuals in place um, I'm going to put it uh, in my collection and that was a um, quick review this wonderful machine which looks actually like a toy from the 80s uh, the French attempt to uh, penetrate the home micros uh, markets back in the day I really hope you enjoyed this video uh, I'll be back soon with other videos like this with uh, memories from the um, 80s technology especially home micros and electronics thanks for watching consider subscribing you know the drill um, yeah and I'll catch you later with another machine to remind you uh, of your childhood hopefully thanks for watching bye